Hi everyone, thanks for coming by my channel to check out the weekly Sunday tarot card and oracle card pull. I'm still using a traditional Rider weight tarot card deck, but I did switch out my oracle card deck, which I will do from time to time. Um, I usually use this deck to read for myself. I've had it since I'm about 16 years old and it's my favorite. It's the Healing Angels oracle deck. It's by... Um, Doreen Virtue, and I don't want to get into any of the controversy surrounding the creator, um, but it is my favorite deck. Nothing to do with the creator. I'll keep those comments to myself, and we'll get right into the read. I hope everybody had a wonderful week this week and is starting their, or a wonderful week last week and is starting this week off. Great. So as always, we ask that our guides, guardians, and angels join us and that the white light surround us so that we have a positive read and that that which needs to be communicated is communicated for the collective. Our tarot card today is the strength card for the week. The strength card is one of my favorite cards because it reminds us that we do not have to be aggressive. We can be gentle and still show that we are dominant or still show our inner power without being aggressive or mean. You can see that she, this angel is showing her strength, opening the lion's mouth, but she's being gentle about it. So she's showing her, her perspective and her control over the situation, but she's doing it in a gentle way. So this reminds us that we don't always have to, in situations where we have to assert ourselves, don't be so caught up on, you know, it's easy to get mad. In a snap, of, snap second, you can get mad and you can react aggressively it's better to take the step back to gain the control within yourself and access your own inner power and then handle the, the situation with a gentler strength. You know that um, that saying, you attract more flies with honey? Or is it more bees with honey? More flies with honey? I think it's more flies with honey. Somebody let me know in the comments. Um, so that's this card for the week, which I think is a great reminder probably every week this is a good reminder. And our Oracle card is the soulmate card. And you know, these cards are so beautiful. I absolutely love them. They're all so beautiful. So um, when I look at these cards together, it could be that we're going to have a If we look at them together, it could be that we're going to have a situation with our soulmate or with our partner where we're going to need to be standing our ground and being a little bit aggressive to show show our power. But again, we have to take the step back and remember to do it in a gentle way or a positive way. Um, it also, the card also could be letting us know that if we do not have a soulmate, that our soulmate is in our um, in our line of vision, that this, our soulmate could be coming into our lives. Now, soulmate does not always equate um, a romantic partner. And I think a lot of people have that mistake that when they hear the word soulmate, they automatically think it's their twin flame. It's their, you know, lifelong partner. Many people can have... Um, and I guess this varies because some people, like I said, do think it's a partner, a romantic partner. In my opinion, I think we have many soulmates throughout our lives and even through lifetimes where we go through different lifetimes with these people. And these are our soulmates. These are the people that we travel. And some people might say these are our families. 
um, these are people that we travel with through different lifetimes and, and through life. So it might be a friend, the soulmate. It might not be a romantic partner. Um, I hope that makes sense. I hope I explained that right. So I think these are very beautiful cards for this week. A very positive outlook for the week. Just reminding us to take the step back, be positive, you know, gain control. And then our soulmate, soulmate might be in our line of vision if they're not already here. Remember friendship or romantic. And that we need to use that strength. And we all have that strength. You know, somebody, some of you might be saying, well, I really don't have strength within me. I'm just done. I'm too weak. Take a deep breath. You know, meditate for a second. I don't know if everybody is has done meditation before. Some people might not have. The easiest and quickest way I can give you to do that meditation is to take a deep breath in for a count of seven, hold it for a count of two, and release it for a count of seven. Hold for a count of two, breathe in for a count of seven, release it. So let's try that. We're gonna breathe in for seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold for two. Release for seven. And I don't know if you can feel that difference, but just taking that time to do that simple breath is a form of meditation and will get you to that point where if you're that angry, you can get control and you can access the strength. And even if you're not angry, you can access that inner strength in you because you are calming everything else down. That's the first step is just calming all the other BS in your head down. Because when we need to use our strength and our power within, we need to get everything else out of our brain or at least put it on the side and tell it, not now. You know, if a thought comes in, okay, great. I have to go to the cleaners later, but now's not the time to be thinking about that. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope I didn't ramble too much. If you're interested in free tarot readings, I do free tarot readings on Tuesday nights in my private Facebook group, Mystical Enlightenment. The link is down below in the description. If you're interested in learning more about the Oracle or tarot decks, the links or the information is down in the description. If you like the video, I'd appreciate it if you click on the like button. If you want to subscribe so that you see more videos like this, please click on the subscribe button. It would be great if you shared it with your friends because word of mouth is the best way to get a new channel um, views. And of course, if you want to be notified when I do the Sunday card polls every week, click on the little bell and you'll receive a notification on your phone. So have a wonderful week. Blessed be. Bye-bye.